Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about how I was able to land a $30,000 a month client within the first year of starting my agency. So basically, this comes down to three things, right? Um, obviously there was an element of luck on it, but essentially it came down to three things. The first was the right niche. The second was credibility. And the third was mindset. So by far, one of the most important parts of this is having the right niche, right? So you need to find a niche where there's not that much competition, where there's a lot of potential for scale and where you can basically get results easier. Facebook ads is not that niche because there's everybody doing it. It's just super hyper competitive and it's just very hard to scale right now. So even if you do get clients that are doing Facebook ads, being able to scale them is very tough. So in our case, what we started our agency with was a big focus on YouTube advertising. And because of that, we basically had a clear field. There was very little competition and we actually got approached by a lot of companies that were spending hundreds of thousands a month on Facebook ads and wanted to do YouTube ads. And because of the lack of competition, because of the lack of other agencies and because of the lack of advertiser competition, everything was easier. It's easier to get them results because it's cheaper on YouTube ads. It's easier to get the big clients because nobody else is trying to get them. Overall, it's just easier. And what we did is we essentially took our clients who were spending a lot of money with Facebook ads and translated their success to YouTube advertising. This resulted in some really great results for them and yeah, everybody was happy with that. And the last piece of this is you want to make sure you structure your agreement with them in a way that you win if they win. So if you're able to get them great performance, you should be rewarded. Now, the most common ways of doing this are percentage of ad spend or percentage of revenue generated from your ads over a baseline. Now, we do charge a minimum retainer, but after a certain point, you do want to make sure you're essentially able to get a piece of the pie if you're able to scale your clients. And that's how you get those big fees. We, I did not sell my first big client on big fees. We had a, I had a very low set minimum fee but then I had a percentage of ad spend. And then essentially, you know, I made it work and I was, I was actually amazed because I was like, wow, this is 10 times more than I expected to get paid for this account. And it ended up working out well. So that's kind of how you do it. You want to make sure if you're able to really scale these clients, you get a small piece of the pie. And a last thing about the niche, you want to think about niches that are underserved. So for example, Snapchat or YouTube are platforms that are underutilized and people don't really spend that much money on. Uh, and they are platforms with a lot of potential. Perhaps LinkedIn is that platform. There are a lot of platforms other than Facebook, or maybe you could do Facebook ads, but do it for a very specific niche that normally and traditionally does not use Facebook ads. So the really big thing is if you want to be, you know, doing these larger accounts with larger ad spends, you really want to think about the right niche and basically structuring the agreement in a way that you win if they win. Now, the second part of this is you gotta build the credibility. So the first step is having one really great case study. You need to do whatever you can to get this case study, right? Or you may even want to work in a business in-house. For example, I worked under Grego Gallagher and I helped scale his ads to 5K a day ad spend with a very profitable return. So I got my great case study from that. And guess what? I had no ads experience when I started working with him. I was basically a complete newbie. And within two weeks, I had somehow figured out the dials of the levers and I just made it work. A lot of the times, it's not the advertiser that's great. It's just working with a great offer and being able to spend time on it. So then you're able to scale that. So I got lucky. I had a great offer and I had an open field, which was YouTube ads. And I basically, all I did was, you know, pull some levers and try a few audiences and it worked and I got very lucky, got that case study. However, anybody can get that lucky break. It's all about being open to it. It's all about looking for that case study. In some cases, you may even want to apprentice under an experienced marketer. So one of my buddies, Brian, he actually got his start by basically, I believe he cold emailed or cold called a very big influencer. And he basically said, hey, I'll work for you for free. I'll do whatever. And this guy basically took him under and he you know, learned how to do Google ads and YouTube ads for him. And now he's running traffic for big offers. So essentially the key is you just got to start somewhere. And in the cases I've seen, it's often been just getting out there and hustling to get that opportunity, to get that first case study. And once you get that first case study, it's pretty easy to uh, 
actually get bigger clients. So in this case, I had the Kino body case study. I showed him, hey, I got great results for this guy. Worked with a couple other clients as a freelancer and you know, basically that client gave me a shot and I delivered for him. So you really wanna have that one case study. You wanna really do that and get that under your belt. If you do that, you will move and progress 50 times faster. Now the last part is mindset. So this is actually really important. You need to be open to the fact that, hey, you might actually land a big client. You might actually land a big ad spend client or, uh, or so on and not sabotaging it. I actually had a really interesting uh, exchange with a friend of mine. I remember this was when he was starting out with his agency and he actually had a call with a really big client and then he came to me and said, hey Shash, uh, I don't know if I can take this client on. They're spending too much money for me. I don't think I can handle it. And I told him, I looked at him like, no, you have the skill set for this. Like I've seen what you do with your ads. You're really good at it. You just haven't had the opportunity to work on a bigger account. This is your opportunity. Don't turn it away because you think you can't handle it. So that's a big part about mindset, right? A lot of people think that because they're spending, you know, a few thousand dollars or $10,000 a month right now, that they don't have the ability to spend $500,000 a month. They think that they need to slowly work up to it, when in reality, it's, it's quite probable that the same person that's spending 10 grand a month right now, if you put him in the right conditions, if you give him the right offer, he can spend 300,000 a month and do it very well. So a lot of times we underestimate ourselves. So don't let self-sabotage mess you up, right? Now, as I showed with that Kino body example, honestly, I didn't do such an amazing job. I just got lucky. I had a great offer, great ads, and I just applied myself and really worked my butt off to make sure that the ads worked, right? Like I had zero experience, but I just made it work because I was constantly in there. I was constantly thinking of ways to improve it. I was really immersed and really in a flow state. And the reason I did this is because I realized this was my big opportunity that could set me up for success for the rest of my life. And because of that, I gave it my all. And that was with zero experience. So why are there advertisers that have spent two to three years and they're still only able to handle budgets of a few hundred dollars a day, while in this case, a newbie like me got to 5,000 a day without any experience within two weeks of start, you know, taking over the ad account. The reason for that is quite frankly, I had no limiting beliefs. I didn't have any beliefs that, hey, I'm not good enough for this ad spend. I'm not good enough for this account. I was just in a mindset of, hey, let's take this challenge on. This is an opportunity, let's get it. So do not let your previous experience or lack of experience limit you, right? So that's the mindset part. So those three things, niche, credibility, mindset are what can help you get your first real clients. Now, if you're looking for a niche to get into, if you're looking to actually become good at a new style of paid ads, check out my YouTube ads course below. I've put everything I've learned from $5.3 million in ad spend into this course and go check it out. And even if you don't check that out, check out some of the other videos in the channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell button so I can keep making these videos for you and keep delivering value. Thanks for watching. Talk with our feet on the ground and we will talk with our head in the clouds and we will walk with our feet on the ground and we will talk with our head.